hello, you get glitter stitches and I get glitter stitches and our projects get glitter stitches a little extra. Everybody needs a little extra glitter stitches. Okay, I'm the Knitting Fairy Godmother and today is a knit along day. So let me show you the project. We have the 108 stitch heart. It's a little heart, garter stitch heart, knit every stitch, knit every row. And it's a free pattern, yay, because we love free patterns. Um, how do you get your free pattern? You go to my website, knittingfairygodmother.com and sign up for the knit letter. It's called a knit letter because all we do is talk about knitting and um, you get some glitter stitches delivered to your inbox every week. So as my thank you gift, you get the pattern, 108 stitch heart pattern. And so you should go do that right now. We're going to have a little bit of a knit along. What I love about this pattern is that you can use any stash yarn that you have. I happen to have some worsted weight wool in this gorgeous pink color and I'm using a US 7 4.5 millimeter needles. I picked up double points just because that's what I had handy, but you can use circulars or straights, whatever you have. Um, so let's get started. The pattern, also, when you sign up, you can get the Ravelry coupon code to add it to your library. So that's um, super nice because then if I issue errata, if someone finds a mistake with the pattern, then you'll automatically get updated with that information. So 108 stitch heart. It strikes me that we're coming up on Valentine's Day and my name is Valerie so there's some some alliteration happening there and um, you know it's a day of love whatever that means for you and today we're making hearts so I like to think about universal love and the highest form of love not so much the romantic love although that's wonderful too so if you have someone special in your life that you want to share the love with, this is a great little tangible, um, you know, touch item, or you can make it a gift tag or put it um, around your rear view mirror in your car. Let's see. Lots of things that you can do with a finished project. Or you can make a whole garland of these and hang them up. I like to just have the hearts around and sometimes I'll stick a heart somewhere on surprise like my coat pocket and then I won't wear that coat. I mean where I live now it's cold because I'm in the northern hemisphere but if I put the heart in my spring coat then when I put my spring coat on I have a little bit of you know that little surprise and delight like I found a treasure in my pocket so I like to sprinkle these throughout the house and I have found them at very synchronistic times it's a little bit like uh, you know setting up a surprise so 108 is a special number it's found in nature it's found in all of the major faiths of the world and even on a prayer bead string or a mala or a japa there's 108 beads and so um, it's a little bit of a meditative number and that's sort of how i use this pattern I make this pattern every single day and it's something that gets me on my needles like a practice and it's something that I can finish quickly and easily and it's also something that I am using as part of my making mistakes um, practice because I have found that I am scared to make a mistake and 
that creates some barriers, as you can imagine, a lot of ripping out. So it's um, something I'm working on, unlearning and embracing the wabi-sabi side of things. And this pattern is how I do that. Okay, so. The pattern uses simple shaping. We use the front and back, knit front and back increase and the knit two together and SSK decrease. And that is so that the knit front and blah, 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 blah. the knit two together decreases go um, on one side and then the SSK goes on the other side. And then we have the point. So we're following the shape of the heart. That's why we chose those design elements for this pattern. And I think that it's a unique construction. It starts in the valley of the top of the heart. So it starts in the valley and then we make the um, semicircle tops and then it comes down into the point and you know again it's just kind of a surprise and a delight how it comes together we don't have to cut yarn or um, add other pieces and it's just one complete strand of yarn Hard to talk and knit at the same time. <laughs> I guess I'm getting tired today, but um, okay. So then we have the decrease here. All right, and now we are binding off. I tried to do a bardo pony, and it's a little lopsided. I feel lopsided. <laughs> It's an imperfect pony. It's part of my mistake practice. I did that on purpose. <laughs> All right, so we're binding off. That's a standard bind off. And on the last stitch, so I just bound off my last stitch. I have it on my needle. What I like to do, I learned this trick from Kat Bordy, is pull the last stitch out, and then I'm going to cut my tail from here. So I'm going, get your scissors, cut your tail, and now I'm pulling the working yarn out of that loop and there's a little less uh, bulk from doing a double um, bind off on that last stitch. And then here is my Happy Valentine's Day pink heart. So I hope you enjoyed the knit along and I can't wait to see you next week. And um, until we see each other again, keep knitting.